Today is September 1st, and Pastor is saying to us, The Greatness of His Name. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21 of the Good News Bible. Christ rules there above all heavenly rulers, authorities, powers, and lords. He has a title superior to all titles of authority in this world and in the next. Did you know that in the millennium, they'd have to use the name of Jesus? That's the same name we've already been given and have lived in, lived by, used and enjoyed for almost 2,000 years. Glory to God. Sadly, many today still don't understand the authority that's vested in the name of Jesus and the power of attorney given to us to use it. That's why they never fully enjoyed the benefits of it. Jesus has a name that's superior to all titles of authority in this world and in the next. So, learn to use his name. The Weymouth New Testament describes the transcendent greatness of his power, the infinitude of his might, and the supremacy and dominion of his name, reign and glory both in this age and in the age to come. That you may know the transcendent greatness of his power, as seen in the working of his infinite might when he displayed it in Christ by raising him from the dead and seating him at his own right hand in the heavenly realms, high above all other government and authority and power and dominion and every title of sovereignty used either in this age or in the age to come. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18 and 21 of the Weymouth New Testament. The most beautiful part is that his authority, his rulership, reign and dominion is for the benefit of the church. He is all that he is. His name wows all the power that it wows for our benefits. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 of the New Living Translation says, God has put all things under the authority of Christ, and he gave him this authority for the benefit of the church. Never live as a victim. Don't live an ordinary life. Use the name of Jesus. He said, All authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Then on the basis of that authority, he said, Go ye therefore. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. Devils, angels, life, death, hell, the world, circumstances, living and non-living things hear and respond to you in his name. Therefore, be conscious of the transcendent greatness of his name. Live and do all things in his name. Please say this confession with me. Jesus is set in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority, and power and dominion, and every name that's named. Therefore, all of nature angels and demons hear and obey when I speak because I stand and speak in the authority of Jesus glory to God for further study please read Isaiah chapter 45 verse 23 Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 and 23 for the contemporary English version and Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 of the Passion Translation for the one-year Bible reading plan Please read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 35 to 58, and Proverbs chapters 8 to 9. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 20, verses 9 to 18, and 1 Samuel chapter 20. Rhapsody of reality.